Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Project session. What I'd like to show you in this module is how to create custom fields that will automatically color up your Gantt chart. So what I've got on this one is a series of flag columns, flag one, flag two, flag three. And what will happen is if I knock this one down to four and this one down, I'll leave that top one on six put this one down to three days you can see that these colors are automatically changing now the reason the longest one is staying red is because i have that set to be a critical path to go red when critical and that is without using the the tick box that you would normally use on format to make things critical now the flags are on yes or no so if i put the um, flag two to no and flag two to no flag three is on yes flag three is on yes but if i put that to no and put flag two to yes or put that to no and put flag one to yes all the colors are just changing depending on what i've done with the flags so and then if i make one of these longer than the top task if i go eight days for example that one becomes a critical path and shows red and if any of these become longer than that so if i put that to 11 days both of those become the critical path because they're linked now how i've done that is as follows if i just do control n for new create myself some tasks task a task b task C, task D, just to give myself some tasks. Some durations, two, three, two, three. So that's how you'd normally have it. And they're showing blue. But to utilize the flags and have it set as I had it before, I need to go into this. Double click on this side to get into bar styles. Or you can click on format and go into format bar styles there whichever way i always double click you get into this and then you're scrolling down to the bottom and you can call this whatever you like so let's call this um admin the admin department for example call this sales call this retail and call this whatever um, finance so I've got four colors. So let's go for a color for admin. So I want admin to be yellow. So all admin tasks are going to be yellow. Sales tasks, they can be whatever color that is. Retail can be green. And finance can be that color, pink. Now what they need to look at is a yes, no field for the flag. So if I drop this arrow down here, you can see all these these fields that you've got and down below you've got all these preset ones or free ones the flag ones there's 20 flag ones so if i click on flag one and then it's probably quicker to type it flag two come down flag three come down flag four that's set that's how i want it click ok nothing's happened yet because i need to trigger this with the flag column. So if I right click insert column, type F to get to the F's, I want flag one. You can see it's a yes, no column. Right click insert column, flag two, flag two, flag three, and flag four. So I'll just quickly do that. Insert column, type F, flag three. Not that one, delete that one. Insert column. F flag three down the bottom there and then just move this over a little bit flag four and what I would normally tell people when I do courses is that you should really create a separate table for this rather than messing up the preset tables so flag four so if I say task a is an admin task flag one that's probably the worst color I could have picked but never mind and Task B is a retail task. Task C is a finance and 
task d is that one so if i just double click back in there come down to these you can see there so admin sales retail finance now if i copy these tasks down again and you can just basically go down and see which ones are admin and the colors will automatically change up like so now the critical path if i make that one five days it still shows the color <clears throat> that is set for that particular one the critical path I need to go back into here scroll down and create an extra one and just call it um, critical path or call it that I want that to be red so let's make it red bright red and then instead of putting a flag there I'm just going to put critical there it'll pick up critical and then you've got the start and finish dates there so I'll click OK to that and that's already gone red so whichever one of these I make the longest will go red and then it reverts back to the the um, flag colors 10 days like so and that's how you automatic color up now if you wanted to put the critical field in there you can right click there is a, a column that you can actually call or is called critical there it is and it's just going to be yes no so as soon as you make a task a particular length or link a task to with another task that's going to make it critical so i've made that one 10 days as well so they're both critical now if i come across here and just start um doing some links Sorry, not two that should be one and then this then will mark this will make it critical because it gets longer so that's now become critical and as soon as I do the next one the whole things become critical and then this one has gone back to a different color so this color I probably should change it's too close to the red for my liking so I'll just go back into that and knock that off so that one's a bit a bit reddish so can I have, I love that turquoise color. Okay. So now it's obvious that that is the critical path and you can double click on there and put the names on if you want names like so. Okay. So that's the end of this little phase, a little quick way to automatically color up your Gantt chart in terms of coloring up this side, the actual table side, unless you're going to do visual basic, there is some scope to do some basic coloring, like for critical tasks. I could do the background there red. This is preset things, but when you look in this list, there's not a great deal of scope there. I click OK. It's just going to color those critical tasks in, but not going to color these um, to be these colors like that. So really, if I do undo there, you're probably going to, um, if all the A's are admin, you would have to select all the A's and color whatever the admin was. I can't remember now, but say it was yellow and then you do the B's. I'm holding my control key down while I do this and select whichever color represents B's. I'm just going to pick a random color and do it like that. But that is a manual process. This is an automatic process, but you're using the flags. So thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.